came out here to teach Lee Moriarty a thing or two about violence. And I want to know, did he pass? Or did he fail? And that's why I don't trust the American public with anything. That said, that's not the reason I grabbed the microphone. I asked John Moxley to team up with me to create a whole new AEW to teach young wrestlers like Lee Moriarty about violence. And John Moxley, I want an answer. Remember, we saw Moxley last week. He answered CM Punk's call pretty quickly. Well, theoretically, Moxley's been cornered. I think we're going to get an answer. I think you're right, Tony. And there he is, the purveyor of violence himself, John Moxley. I met his daughter today. What a lovely baby. John Moxley taking his time. He, he's in no hurry to give Brian Danielson his answer. Everything on Moxley's terms. It always is this caliber. Yeah, and, all, and for all the big stars, it's kind of that way. Dan Andre, I see that's good. This is a very volatile situation, folks. If you didn't already know, folks, what we've got here is that Brian Danielson has put John Moxley back him into a corner. And imagine a world where these two team up. I mean, we, we heard, Tony, you broke the news about the three-way match at Revolution. What if Moxley and Danielson team up, win the the Tag Team Battle Royal and punch their ticket to Revolution. That would be tremendous. It would be, I, I think it would be pretty logical to me for them to team up. I think Moxley should do it. I love the tension that we're feeling here. Little over a decade ago, I was a lot like that Lee Moriarty kid. I was a lot like a lot of the kids in the AEW locker room. I was young, I was angry, I was poor, I had nothing to lose, and I took a shot at taking down the great American dragon, Brian Danielson. We were at a little indie show in Chillicothe, Ohio. You were late, your flight was delayed because of the weather. So they sent Tracy Smothers out to the ring to vamp with the audience for about 45 minutes. And so finally I went to the ring and then you pulled up in the back of the building already in your wrestling gear and you got out of the car and you walked through the kitchen to the ring, stepped through the ropes. It's the first time we met and I stood face to face, eye to eye with the man they called the best wrestler in the world. And I gave everything I had that night. I went balls out. I fought tooth and nail, but I came up short. But getting a taste of the best just made me meaner, just made me angrier, just made me want it more. And over the years, I had more shots at Brian Danielson. And every single time, I came up short. In fact, I have never beaten Brian Danielson. 
It's true. So when you showed up in AEW, everyone else was scared. Everyone else was intimidated by the greatest wrestler that ever lived, but I was excited. Finally, I would get a chance to put the one head on my wall I've never got to put up there. I would get a chance to slay the one dragon I could never slay, no pun intended, the American dragon. But as it turns out, Brian Danielson doesn't want to fight me. Brian Danielson wants to join forces with me. And I was listening to you a couple weeks ago. I listened to every single thing you said. I'm not gonna lie, I got to thinking how awesome it could be. All the arms we could snap, all the skulls we could cave in, we could create a dream team, a dynasty of unmitigated, pure wrestling violence. And then I got to thinking, just, just like you were saying, not just about the destruction we could cause, but about what we, what we could create. The young guys we could take along with us giving something back to this business, giving something back to AEW, the legacy we could leave. And I'm not gonna lie, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't think of one good reason to say no. But then I got to wonder, and I wonder maybe, is the only reason Brian Danielson wants to stand side by side with me because he wa doesn't want to find himself in the one place nobody in AEW wants to find themselves standing across the ring from John Moxley. Because he knows I would do to him what I've done to everybody else they've put in front of me for the last three years. And if that's the case, well, then I've already beaten Brian Danielson. So which is it? Does Brian Danielson want to be my partner because of what we could create? Or because he doesn't want to get destroyed? Let's find out. I'll leave it up to you, Brian. I'm not saying yes. But I'm not saying no. I'll leave it up to you. Brian, I am not that young kid from a decade ago, and seeing as how, for all intents and purposes, we are meeting each other for the very first time here in AEW in 2022, I'll tell you this. I don't stand side by side with nobody yeah. till I bleed with them first. Wow. I can feel that one, man. And the, the fans can feel it. I'm sure you at home can feel it. The potential of one of the great one-on-one -on -one matchups, Tony, that we could have ever witnessed. Profound comments from John Moxley. He thought that through before he, he, he told us what was on his mind.